Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christine and it has been a long time, at least a good month since I've been here with a YouTube video. The last month has just been unnormally busy. I had my mom and my sister come to visit here in Valencia, Spain, which was super, super fun. And I've had different weddings and I've been sewing quite a bit as you're going to see in this video but I haven't had the time to film and edit and share everything that I've been making. So today's video, I'm gonna share everything that I've been making lately. Before we dive in, I wanna mention that I'm running a Black Friday sale. You can save 25% off of all of my patterns. I'll drop the link to shop below. You can go to sewingandthecity.com and yeah, enjoy 25% off all of my patterns. I'm wearing my bleaker sweatshirt I made out of this really soft sweatshirt fleece. And I did the ruffles out of an organza. So they're nice and lightweight and a little bit dressier with the organza. I just love, love, love this version. I've worn it a lot wearing it just with jeans tucked into the front. It makes a really easy Saturday, it's Saturday today, um, comfy, cozy thing to wear. So the first thing I wanna show you is also a bleaker sweatshirt at its base. So you can see it's the bleaker sweatshirt up until the sleeves. So this project came about because I had just about a meter, a yard roughly of this fabric that was left over from another project. And a yard really isn't enough to do a full sweatshirt with. And so I was sitting in my stash and I had the idea to take a men's shirt that I got at the market for a Euro um, and just use the sleeves instead of do the bleaker sleeves. So this one turned out really, really cute. I love, love, love it. Wearing just as I am now with jeans um, and the, the sleeves are really soft and different. So this was a really fun upcycling project. I see these men's shirts in these just gorgeous prints, really soft cotton fabrics all the time at the thrift markets. So it was a good use of one of these one euro men's shirts and a little bit of sweatshirt fleece scraps. Next up is another upcycling project. You know I've been really into these upcycling things lately. So this was actually a Rivington t-shirt that I made several years ago. And I, I do love it. I was wearing it a lot. But I had this table scarf with this Battenberg lace. And I needed a top to wear. So like something a little bit dressier. So I ended up uh, taking off the sleeves and adding puff sleeves using this uh, table scarf. So this again was a really fun project. I love it back to like little pearl earrings. So this one was really easy to do. I do have a tutorial. I've done this before with um, another project and I have a YouTube video walking through how I do the puff sleeves because this is just taking the regular sleeve that comes with the Rivington t-shirt pattern and expanding it into a puff sleeve. It's a really easy hack. So I'll drop the video in one of the corners below if you wanna check it out after this one. The next one is also an upcycling project and I love, love, love this blouse. It's a little bit summery now, but I had made it um, towards like, I think the first part of October, September. Um, so this was a tablecloth. You might've seen it in one of my hauls. It has this really pretty lace detail on the bottom and I was able to use the lace also in the back. So I just used um, the corners for the back. I This is my Van Damme dress and top pattern. I did a hack to leave it open all the way down. Normally there's a seam and you do a zipper here, um, but I decided to leave it open and that way I could use the lace. And then I just decided at the very end to attach uh, little leather strips for the ties. Um, and I just secured these, you can see here. I just sewed them sewed them on on the back side, and I love the detail. It's just a little bit of color, kind of gives me that bohemian, almost like a Western kind of feel with baggy jeans. This was a really, really fun top to wear. I'm looking forward to wearing it again in the spring. Okay, the next one is a really, really special make that I obsessed over for probably too long, but in the end, I love the way it turned out. So if you saw my fabric haul way back when, last year, you know that I bought this really pretty tulip uh, satin 
on sale at my local fabric store, knowing that someday I would have something to make out of it or an event to wear it to. And so I just saved it in my stash and lo and behold, I had a wedding to go to and decided to make up an outfit using this treasured fabric. So what I ended up doing was this is my Manhattan top and dress pattern. It's one of my free patterns. Um, I'll link it below if you want to download it. It has these nice pleated sleeves um, and a raglan style. So you get a really nice shape at the shoulders. So I decided to, I had enough fabric to actually make a dress. So, um, but I wore it as a top. Um, and I did these um, exposed, gold exposed zippers on both the top as well as the pleated skirt. So I decided to self-draft a pleated skirt to go with the top. Um, this can also be a dress, obviously, for other occasions. Um, and then both with the uh, gold zipper in the back, I thought was so cool. Um, I did do pockets in the skirt. And um, so I love the way this turned out. It was really, really different. Obviously not really anything you could ever buy, but as beautiful as the fabric was, there are two accessories that really helped pull the whole outfit together. And the first is this little fascinator, well, not little, it's quite large, fascinator type of hat that my friend Carmen actually made for me. It was her wedding. Um, and so she made this hat for me, I'll try it on. It was so fun. I've never had a hat like this. Um, it was so chic and elegant to wear. And the little touch of yellow really tied in with the fabric so well. I just, it was so, so, so fun to wear. Um, and then I also carried a yellow bag, um, which is the perfect shade of yellow, just to kind of pick up the touches of the fabric. This bag was sent to me by a brand called Teddy Blake. They are based in New York, but all of their bags are handmade in Italy out of this gorgeous, gorgeous Italian leather. Um, this was a great bag for the wedding because it feels small and elegant, but it's a large enough size that I could carry all of the things for a long wedding day. The wedding started at 1.30 and wrapped up around 10 or 11. So it was a long day. This bag was great. Um, because I could carry all the things and the double strap so I could wear it short um, or also long. So I love, love, love this bag. I'll drop their website below. They have new styles that they introduce every month um, and really, really fun colors. There is a baby pink bag that I loved as well. Um, so yeah, definitely check them out if you love handbags as much as I do. Okay, now on to another, another upcycled piece. I self-drafted, used actually the sleeve from my peri top pattern, which is a blouse. Um, the sleeve has a dart at the top and really nice, nice, nice and full. So this was such a fun piece to place the pattern. I loved how it came out. I love the sleeves um, and able to use the corners down the center front. And then I just did the ties at center front to tie it. It's such a fun blouse, such a fun blouse or little jacket. Um, definitely going to wear it more as spring comes. Well, when spring comes. Um, but yeah, this was a really, really fun piece. And next up, I have some really exciting news in that I am selling some of the things that I make under a new brand called Lindy Lindy, which is a playoff of my last name. It was actually my grandfather's nickname named Lindy. So I took the name, doubled it, and it became the new brand. So what I'm doing is making loungewear and robes and with this first iteration geared towards brides. So the getting ready robe, the getting ready moment when you're getting your hair and makeup done. And so I'm using upcycled linens for nearly all of the pieces. Um, this is one This um, with this beautiful blue embroidery. Um, I have this one, which is kind of like a princess style. I absolutely love it with the flutter sleeves. And these are all obviously one of a kind. There's only one linen that I find and only one that we can cut. So the first drop, so to speak, of one of a kind pieces will be happening on Tuesday if all goes well. I've had to delay it a little bit um, so far, but we're on track. Um, a couple other pieces or styles are like this little pajama set which i just love 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 
um, all like designed to be easy to get off when you're getting your hair and makeup done and also really pretty for photos. Oh, this one I wanted to show you. The last um, style is this really long gown that opens in the front. It has a little um, slip that goes underneath it with just this beautiful cut work. So I'm so excited to share more as I get to launch and kind of ramp up the brand, but really small little start, but I'm really excited and so excited to share with you as well. Um, I'll drop my Instagram. It's lindylindy.com if you want to go to the website and check out there what I have so far and um, join the wait list if you want to be notified when I officially launch. Every time I put these videos together, I always feel like, oh, I haven't really been sewing that much lately. Um, but by the time I gather everything, I realize, wow, I do get to sew quite a bit. So I hope it inspires you to do the same. And yeah, I am looking forward to getting into more fall and winter sewing now. And thank you so much for tuning in and for supporting my channel and sewing in the city. And I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.